Unseen dollars. We've witnessed its presence in many sectors of our economies, hidden from the accountants and spreadsheets. But what about in this world? Increasingly so much a part of our lives, and yet so much that's unknown. In this episode, we journey into a sector of the online economy and try to make sense of the big virtual dollars that slosh around in it. Technological advancement has changed the world as we know it. We've achieved the impossible with the internet, linking countries across the globe at the click of a mouse. Communication over the internet has evolved into so much more than mere emails and instant messaging. Today we have Facebook, Twitter, blogging, an expanding variety of ways for people to form communities and interact. On the 21st of July 2010, barely six years after its launch, the world's most popular networking site, Facebook, announced that it had hit the 500 million users milestone. Just seven months later, the number jumped to a remarkable 845 million users. So if Facebook was a country, it would be the third most populous nation in the world after India and China which is why, increasingly, businesses ranging from small to large enterprises are looking to social media networks as a smarter way to expand their coverage. More than 3.5 billion items of content consisting of web links, news stories, blog posts and more are shared each week on Facebook. To boot, 43% of all media consumers are social media fans or followers. I do believe that uh, New Age marketing is a lot based on one-on-one -on -one marketing because it is the main reason why we have this thing called the social CRM, the social customer relation management system. Say for example, you manage to connect with somebody online in the social media space. So you want to engage this person over time through your content, you want to have conversations. It could be on Twitter for example and I'm saying like, um, I don't like your brand, it's so boring. Or it makes fun of, it insults my, my people, my culture. Then you want to you want to engage this person and tell him that it's no bad intention, you just want to, it's out of good fun. So over time when this person talks about your brand, uh, or about your product, or about your service, it is positive. And six months later, he's a, what we call a brand champion, like he's a, if he's an Apple support, like maybe six months ago, he was just a PC user, right? but six months later, he's a pure Apple brand champion. And marketing and branding agencies are quickly catching on crashing into social media networks to carry out their campaign models. Why is social media the way to go? What are the benefits? Who are their clients? And what are some successful case studies? So the benefits of social media marketing is that it's cheaper for businesses. Uh, say if your goal is to acquire more brand awareness. So say if you were to put up an ad in the MRT, you need your production costs, you need your distribution costs and everything. Uh, just to reach out to one person. Whereas with social media, it's, it is cheaper. I mean, I can reach out to the same person and have more relevant message. Essentially, everything can be measured online. Um, one case study is that one of our clients, uh, it was an immensely successful campaign because it was an airline company and then we had a booking engine installed on their Facebook page. So so happened that we drove so much traffic and so, too many transactions and um, things happened like technical issues came about. In 2010, Phone Dog, an internet company, sued one of its former employees, claiming the worker cost the company thousands of dollars in lost business when he took 17,000 Twitter followers with him on leaving the firm. The company said followers should be treated like a customer list and therefore Fern Dog's property, and requested compensation of $2.50 per follower per month for eight months, which totaled to $340,000 US dollars. But that's not all. A social media management company has worked out a monetary value of a Facebook like, 
A Facebook like can be calculated through the number of impressions it makes. Impressions are made when Facebook users see the post of a particular brand appear on their Facebook page. If a page garners 1 million likes, and assuming the page posts twice a day, then the brand effectively appears twice on every fan's news feed, giving it a total of 2 million impressions per day, or 60 million in a month. Assuming it costs 5 US dollars to advertise 1,000 displays on the internet, each Facebook page like is worth $3.60 annually, and 60 million impressions will translate to 300,000 US dollars in revenue each month, or $3.6 million each year. The various methods formulated to quantify the value of social media networking tools only proves that behind the simple mechanics of these tools and the function they serve lies a great hidden value. And to us, the unseen dollars of the online sector.